Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a great weekend. I hope you had a good night's rest and you were ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from Revival Today. Revival Today for November the 6th. And this is November the 6th, 1904. Sparks of Revival. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. And that is Proverbs 15 and verse 8. Beginning on October 31st, nightly prayer meetings were held in the Moriah Chapel by Evan Roberts. Every night the power and presence of God intensified on the congregation and many people were saved. On November 6th, Evan Roberts told the crowd of the meeting to pray that the same prayer together, Oh, send the Holy Spirit now for Jesus Christ's sake. As that assembly prayed deep into the night, God began to work in an amazing way. The beginning of the Welsh revival was difficult to pinpoint, but this prayer meeting at the beginning of November is one of many sparks that would contribute. Those meetings in the Moriah Chapel would later be described by one in attendance. The revival meetings were extraordinary. Some people would be crying for joy, others crying for sorrow over their sin. Several people would be praying at the same time for their friends, parents, or children. Some would be singing, others telling people about the joy they now experience. The chapels were filled to capacity, and there were crowds of people on the roads outside. Yet there was no disorder in the meetings. They lasted until 2 or 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. The revival spread like wildfire from place to place all over the country when people and where people had been praying that such a thing would happen. To see God work in amazing ways, the beginning is always bathed in prayer. But we must be sure that our prayers are not hindered by our sin. God delights in the prayer of his child who is right with him. When our relationship with the Lord is not right, however, our prayers become an abomination. It does not matter what we do or how we pray. God will not bless a person who is living in sin against his commands. Only when we are completely right with God, with our prayers, will become a delight to our Heavenly Father. Is there anything in your life hindering your prayers today? Inspect before you intercede, and whatever God shows you, eliminate so that your prayers will be His delight. Very good. When my soul was disturbed with sorrow, when my heart was burdened with sin, Jesus opened His arms of mercy and tenderly That we all encounter. Do not fear, they will do you no harm. In the Lord, you will find protection. In the shelter of his arms. Though the world all round 
be raging and it's filled with many hearts. Trust in Jesus and He will keep you in the shelter of His arms. There is peace in the time of trouble. There is peace in the midst of given us, Lord. I pray that you would watch over and bless, Lord, today, dear God. I pray, Lord, that you will spark uh, something in us, Lord, that other people not just will see that, Lord, uh, but that it will affect other people to the point where they want the relationship that they see through us, through those folks that are watching this, God. Help us, Lord, to be those that go out to tell others about their need for Christ. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.